practice your steps, practice your rhythms and everything. In this dance that we do, the swing dancing, I say, in many times it's very much of making the rhythms that you hear in your head, making your body do those rhythms. Uh -huh. So you want the connection between what you hear up here and what you do in your body cool. to be very quick. And that connection, the more you practice it, the quicker it will be. In the beginning, it can be hard. If you want, you, you hear something that you want to express, but you don't have the tools really or the technique to express mm -hmm. it. But I think to just uh, try to get that communication between your heart or your head or your soul to your body quicker. That is the, that is the thing that we try to practice. So we want to, whatever you feel or whatever you hear, we are able to communicate that with our, our body or our feet or whatever as, as quick as possible. And, and a good way to practice that is to just sing a rhythm to yourself and then try to do that rhythm. What do you think about that, Mimi? I definitely agree. Okay. Uh, and in addition, I think you look for sources of inspiration and uh, you find something you like and uh, then you, you will try it. And then, hopefully, you will uh, fail and do something else. <laughs> and then you find out what that was and you do it again. You try to re yeah. recreate that and then you have your own thing. try to enjoy it. I think in general when you learn something I think you should as soon as possible see how you can make it your own thing instead of uh, what you see or okay. what you, yeah. so you don't try to copy. Uh, okay. but, uh, I, mean, I, think, I think all you start many of you, you try to start practice something you always copy your your idols or your inspiration that's how you start but then you take a little bit all your inspiration, your different inspirations, yeah, and you put that together with what you got from with yourself, and what you feel, and that's what you how you create your own style, yeah. your own individual interpretation. Yeah. But in the beginning, it's very much trying to copy your idols. But I think it's important then, like Mimi said, to to try to find your own way of doing stuff because we are all different. So. To use your personal expression within, within this, and then for me, it's also about see. You always have this. Everything, everyone has these things that they want to express, that they want to hear, they want to feel these rhythms. You just have to find that, and you can, of course, in one way practice that. Also, that's what you get from listening to music and to watching other dances. You get the inspiration. Now. This is basically for me all you need is that fire, that inspiration, or that, that soul. But then the more technique you develop, yeah. the more you can express that. You see what I mean? But if you get a lot of technique, if you got the best technique, it doesn't matter anything if you don't have anything to express or have anything, yeah. Any, yeah, yeah, yeah. any of your own personal soul uh -huh. behind that. Uh -huh. So what we practice is our technique most of the time. We practice our technique, which is good, because our technique makes it's like tools to make us be able to express better. It's like I, if I draw a parallel, it's like if you paint a picture, if you have a view of I want to paint this, I know what I want to paint, and I know how I want it to look. Yeah. That's how you, you have that view, that's how all you need. And then, even if you're not so good at painting, you can do something similar because it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. But the better your technique is with your hand, the more you can do, the more you can make the painting just as you want it. But even if you have the best technique to paint anything, 
but you don't know what to paint. Uh -huh. But it's what might be boring to look at uh -huh. because you have to have that thing that you, yeah. that you want to paint. And I believe that every person has this within themselves. Some people might have to find it somewhere, but everyone has it inside. And then the more technique you have, the more you can express, express okay. this. Yeah. Yes. And in addition to that, another important thing uh -huh. is to dare to make those lines, like draw some lines outside the, the box. The box, like dare to take some risks, dare yeah. to make mistakes. Yeah. Because you have you have to. Uh -huh. You have to. And that's yeah. what makes it fun and that's what makes dance unexpected. All right, Frederick and Mimi, that was very, very good. Thank you so much.